All right, what's up everyone? This might be the first ever vlog on my new camera, the Sony ZV-E10. And we're gonna check out the festival of Pirogov in Krakow, which is an annual event. Yes, and Christina's very excited. <laughs> check this out. I have this little bomb bag for the camera, which I stole from Christina. It's a beautiful day. This is where I live, but this is our apartment. I want to talk about my life in Poland a bit. And the idea is that we're going to Festival Pirogo and it's going to be one of those Tell me without telling me Tell me you're in Poland without telling me you're in Poland I will go first We're entering the historic heart of Krakow The old town Which is why there's tourists everywhere and these little uh, tourists I don't know what they're called Buggies or something Getting close to Pirogi. I can smell it. Festival Pirog. All right, show me, show me the goods. We've got uh, curry, spinach with garlic, beetroot with feta, and some other ones. Just to show how it looks. Oh yes. Oh, this is Indian style. Mm-hmm. These are not classic pierogi. Mm. I'll slow motion that. <laughs> As you probably understood, pierogi are Polish dumplings. And at this festival they, do, they get experimental with it. They do all these types of different flavors. And they're not the typical pierogi that we, you would usually get in Poland. All right, we had some pierogi, but not too much because we are coming back here again on Saturday and that's the day when we're really gonna go wild with it because we have bouldering afterwards and we can use the energy, you know. Now we're just gonna go for a walk around the old town. I'll show you around and I'll also talk a bit about why I moved from Australia to Poland. Because I get asked that question a lot. Rainbows, it was just pouring down for like a minute and now it's fine again. Here we are in the middle of Krakow Old Town. This is called the Rynek? What's it called? The uh, like the marketplace square, basically. 
that is the indoor marketplace. Here we have the church of St. Mary, quite huge. I think it's St. Mary. Well, wow, I'm a terrible tour guide. Okay, St. Mary's Basilica. St. Mary's Basilica in Krakow. Here it is. Boom. It's, it's quite massive, actually. Can't see it on camera. And there's all these little churches and, and uh, not churches, but like chapels or buildings connected to the church. The rain is really messing with me a bit today. It's like stopping and starting, but as I was saying, it's because the climate is near the mountains, you know, mountainous climate, and the weather changes very frequently here in Krakow. It's still worth it to live near the mountains though. Krakow history moment. This is one of the doors of St. Mary's Basilica, and this chain here, this was used to punish sinners, right, for the sin of laziness. They actually would volunteer to be chained up here all day. And uh, I think this goes around your neck. And you see the height. The height is such that it's like really not comfortable to be standing. You're not, you're not squatting. Yeah, you're not squatting and you're kind of, you can't stand up completely either. So you would spend 24 hours in this kind of half standing position and uh, you know, your sins would be forgiven. But that's the crazy thing, right? Laziness, it's not like a sin that can be, you, you can't be caught being lazy, really, can you? People would actually confess to laziness and the, the, the priest or whoever it was they confessed to would tell them, okay, go to the city guards and uh, say that you need to be punished for laziness. And to punish them, they would come here and tie them up to this chain, voluntarily. Voluntarily people did this. Uh, well, we're standing here because we're hiding from the rain. <laughs> we're standing here outside the church of St. Mary's Basilica, right next to the spot where they punish the sinners for laziness. <laughs> and do it <nothing. laughs> Maybe it's fate for us to be here. And I guess I might take this opportunity to talk about why we live in Poland. Why do we live in Poland? Christina is Polish. We were living in Belarus before that because I am Belarusian. Christina is also Belarusian. It's it's not a very clear not a very clear story, is it? I grew up in Australia, but I was born in Belarus. I moved back to Belarus when I was 25. I met Christina. We moved to Poland together because she has Polish ancestry. You can see it. She looks Polish. <laughs> now we've been living in Poland for about three years and we like it. Poland is nice, especially Krakow. First we were living in Warsaw, uh, but it's kind of like a really big city and kind of a, a very, I don't know, modern city, I guess, right? But we like Krakow a lot more. Nothing around Warsaw. Like our main problem, there is not, nowhere to go. Yeah, um, there's nowhere to go in terms of like nature spots, really. Warsaw is a bit like just in this flat area, there's just farms around and, and industrial stuff and not much else. But Krakow has the mountains within just two hours, sometimes one and a half hours, you can be on some pretty epic mountains, some pretty high mountains. And you probably don't even associate Poland with mountains, but it does have mountains there about two and a half thousand meters high, which is like not bad. That's higher than anything in Australia or in the UK, even higher than the Scottish mountains, I think. We've been on yeah. one, one yeah. of the highest one. Yeah, we've been on Svinica, which is, I think, 2,000 meters. All right, it's still raining, so I guess we've got to head in the direction of home now. We decided to head home because the weather got pretty bad and I was worried about the camera getting wet. Um, what? What's so funny? Nothing. Your face is not that sexy. Hey, <laughs> why would you say that? Because camera getting wet. Oh my god. <laughs> I just got it. I'm not putting that in the vlog. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're back at our, uh, at our apartment. 
We live just like 10 minutes tram ride outside of the old town, which is really nice because it's a much quieter area. And we're right next to a park. We've got an amazing view from the balcony right into the park. This was the first vlog that I've ever done. The first of these like walking and talking type videos. I want to do a lot more. I'm going to talk about Poland, I guess and just about my lifestyle and stuff as a freelancer, as an expat living in Poland. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. See you next time. Tell me you're in Poland without telling me you're in Poland. I will go first. into the she crashed into the lift door <laughs> oh shit open I have a fear of being stuck in the lift <laughs> 